Which for one growing community in the borderland means triathlon season is about to start. But as ABC 7's Astrid Rodriguez reports, there's one key element El Paso is missing. USA triathlon coach Gretchen McElroy is busy right now. The next triathlon is less than a month away, and hundreds. I have a Race El Paso newsletter that goes out to almost 6,000 people in the area. If not thousands of triathletes are pushing themselves as fast as they can go. It is a community of awesome athletes. We're out there cycling, running, and swimming every day. <laughs> you see us and people think we're crazy. Maybe a bit. The Mighty Mujer Triathlon next month attracts 500 competitors from across the region. They've been training for weeks, preparing to swiftly swim 300 yards, bike 18 miles, and yes, run three. That's why I moved to El Paso, was to train here at altitude, with the low humidity, um, with the sunny days. Sunny skies, beautiful weather, but the one thing El Paso is missing is water. In place of open water, Race El Paso uses a number of pools from Memorial to Escalete Park, but we really need more options. Having elliptic distance pools in particular is something that we lack in El Paso right now. Not anymore. This is the money we're going to invest. Two 50 meter Olympic sized pools will begin construction soon, but the cost of these state of the art water holes came at a shock to many. 13 million for the West Side Pool to be built next to Leo Cancellari Rec Center, and 16 million for the East Side Pool built inside a new Far East Park. In terms of cost, I think you need to always be thinking long term. You know, up front, it's going to be tough. Gallego says the pools will ensure her growing races a place while providing for competitive school teams and swimmers. It's a large group that uses, uses the pool. Ashley Rodriguez, ABC 7. We have a traffic.